It's been a few weeks and we're still thinking about UGC's Halo Classic and all the incredible stories that unfolded. One of which was an incredible run from GMS, a new team with pros and newcomers alike. They faced the veteran squad of Reciprocity in round 5, where GMS knocked them into the loser's bracket. Something not many people expected. With the help from Callus, let's take a closer look at Game 1, which shows a great example of GMS using major aggression to secure quick flag captures on Narrows. Before we get started, I want to give a big shout out to UGC for supplying us with each player's POV. It allows for a much more accurate breakdown and an easier viewing experience for all of you. Thanks. Right out the gate, Reciprocity starts with a 3-1 push. Snipe down to Sniper, obviously. Pistola top right, Roy R1, and Lunchbox R0. GMS start with a 2-1-1. Gabriel goes L1 for rockets, Goofy lifts to flank Sniper and pull the flag, and Zerka and Fantasy pushing top mid. Snipe down stumbles and misses two huge shots on Gabriel as he pushes rockets, but instead of picking up the rockets and pushing, Gabriel decides to keep his BR out and put damage on Roy trying to come down R2. Communicating with his teammates, Gabriel switches to his L2 where he cleans up Lunchbox, letting Zerka finish the kill on Roy, essentially swapping targets. Let's rewind a little bit and see what happened to Snipe Down. Remember that Goofy took the lift at the start. Before he does, he waits a little bit. But why? He wants Snipe Down to fully commit to the Sniper and let players push up top mid, leaving them open to take damage. Goofy takes the lift and gets several shots on Pistola pushing top mid. Back to Snipe Down, he's now aware of Goofy's flank and is forced to back off, letting Gabriel rotate up to top mid and help his teammates. Snipe Down hits Goofy with the body shot, and instead of challenging, Goofy rotates to pull Reciprocity's flag. Snipe Down hits GMS with some aggression, flanking up to top mid to clean up Zerka and hit an absolutely clutch no scope on Gabriel, leaving it to a 1v1. Gabriel runs the flag bottom mid only to find himself staring down the barrel of Snipe Down's sniper rifle. Snipe Down lands a body shot, and Goofy gets aggressive, actually pushing Snipe Down whilst being one shot, very unexpected. He hits it with two shots and a beatdown before Snipe Down can react. This is huge. Reciprocity is spawning in and responding, but Fantasy is there to help. He takes out Pistola and begins pushing the flag with Zerka, picking up rockets along the way. Goofy is soon cleaned up by Lunchbox, but dies to Fantasy's aggressive rocket push. He relays the flag to Zerka and immediately turns around to continue applying even more pressure to Reciprocity, allowing Zerka to cap the first flag in only 54 seconds. Fantasy takes a perimeter route through Lift's side in order to maximize his pressure while Zerka is returning to the field of play. This forces Reciprocity to spawn in their lobby or flag. He positions himself in a way where he can have height advantage if anyone pushes him from lobby or spawns in front of him. Fantasy perfectly flanks lobby and kills Snipe down upon spawning, but is soon killed by Roy and Pistola. Luckily, Goofy and Zerka are getting right in Reciprocity's face. Goofy pushes top mid, putting damage on Pistola and nading their flag, while Zerka jumps from R2 right into Reciprocity's flag. Roy made a huge mistake taking the same angle as Pistola to help slay Goofy. This allows Zerka to make that top mid jump into Reciprocity's flag without being seen. Somehow, Goofy actually managed to juke out half of Reciprocity while rotating into their flag for the second pull, and with Zerka's help was able to get it out towards Snipe. While Roy pushes his R1 to cut off Goofy, Pistola decides to create a pinch by rotating through flag, but is delayed by Zerka, who makes an amazing play, countering Roy's cutoff play with a perfect flank through Reciprocity's S1. Snipe down and Lunchbox spawn in, taking top mid and lift. As Goofy is running the flag through bottom mid, Zerka continues to apply even more pressure and stays on Reciprocity's side, taking out both Roy and Snipe down as they're trying to chase Goofy. Lunchbox's flank found him in a perfect position and is able to take out Goofy, but unfortunately for him, Fantasy was there and ready. 
Now, a few moments earlier, when Fantasy died right before Goofy pulled the flag, Pistola picked up Fantasy's sniper rifle and started watching the GMS flag. After Fantasy killed Lunchbox, he doesn't wait for his shields to recharge, and instead went to finish the flag cap but gets cleaned up by Pistola, waiting patiently for him to pop out. Soon after, Goofy spawns in and grabs the flag. Pistola misses his shot and lets Goofy cap the flag in only 43 seconds. The two teams continue the fight for another 5 minutes or so and GMS manage to hold their aggression throughout to capture the third flag. Looking back on this game, the first two flagpoles were so critical in setting the stage for GMS. This was game one of the series against a powerhouse of a squad and they started it hot. So talented but they've so far I think have been maybe a little bit surprised on just how well the side of GMS is playing, certainly in game number one. A result few people could have predicted. 